the Jamaica Diaspora Conference 2015, the perfect place to connect Jamaicans a yard with Jamaicans abroad. It attracted more than 2,280 participants, over 80 exhibitors, and more than 120 sponsors who got updates, made recommendations, and forged linkages in a number of sectors. But with the spirit of altruism firmly etched in the hearts of the members of the Jamaican diaspora, the conference would be incomplete without them being able to give back to their homeland. And so the last day of the conference was designated as the Diaspora Day of Service. This day is really a testimony to the commitment of the members of the Jamaican diaspora to service, to country, to community, and to humanity. There were a total of 17 projects being implemented by 10 different organizations across seven parishes. One was St. Catherine, Kitsentown to be exact. Over 100 residents assembled at the Ackles Hill Early Childhood Institution to participate in a medical mission and an educational outreach program. Look at those fish with the eyes. Beautiful. Children got a chance to do art and craft, participate in reading exercises, and receive back-to-school goodies. It was all courtesy of the Kiwanis Club of Kendall, South Dade, in partnership with members of the Jamaican Nurses Association of Florida. Together, as uh, organizations within the diaspora in the Florida area, we are delighted to be in Jamaica for this, our fourth humanitarian mission. Through the gifted hands of medical practitioners in the diaspora, persons in Kitson Town and surrounding areas were able to get free blood pressure, blood sugar and cholesterol checks. Even pharmaceuticals were on hand. There was a similar program at the Bull Bay Health Center in St. Thomas. A health and wellness fair was put on by the Jamaica Diaspora Canada Foundation. People got a chance to clean their teeth, test their eyes and even dress their wounds. It started with a group of Canadians living from Bull Bay, living in Toronto. They approached the Diaspora Foundation and we are providing assistance to them in doing this. We are not doing this to get appreciation. We are doing this so that people can get services, well needed services. And we have very good government support. We brought in quite a bit of stuff. We, you know, we got custom, you know, some custom duties, levied and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, we got good support from both the government and the community in doing this. And as the medical mission continued in the East, five life-saving machines were being donated in the West at the Hilton Rosal in Montego Bay. The automated external defibrillators, AED machines, are used to treat sudden cardiac arrest. It basically checks a person's heart rhythm and, if abnormal, it sends an electric shock to the heart to restore its rhythm to normality. Valued at about $7,500, US the AEDs were provided by Team Jamaica Bickle, a diaspora organization which provides support services for Caribbean athletes who compete at the annual pen relays. We launched a, a defibrillator program last year as a result of uh, one of our ambassadors uh, dying at a meet in Trinidad. Kavon McKenzie, a student athlete of St. Jago High. He died while competing at a cross-country championship in Trinidad. In his memory, we reached out and we got a defibrillator presented to J uh, St. Jago, um, you know, as part of the, you know, living his legacy. And following that, five other schools received AED machines from Team Bickle during the Diaspora Day of Service. Petersfield High in Westmoreland, Green Island High in Hanover, G.C. Foster College in St. Catherine, Cornwall College in St. James, and Vera Technical High in Clarendon. Coaches, teachers, and administrative personnel were also taught how to use the AEDs and given training in CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. These machines will go a far way and hopefully will assist in minimizing, if not preventing, uh, any untimely death of any of our young athletes. We're looking at it from a standpoint where some 50 to 75 schools will be our target. So you're looking at a project that will eventually value anywhere from 60 to 80,000 US dollars. The Jamaican diaspora giving back in a tangible way to their homeland.